album came out today, and it was like pure pandemonium in my mouth. Like, to it is because he spoke on the whole thing of women say they want a real man or a man who's real and don't know what to do when they find one. Now, when a woman says she wants a man that's real, well, I think when anyone says they want a person who's real is you want someone who's honest and who's going to be themselves. That way, if you decide you don't like them, you wouldn't have wasted five or six months of them pretending to be somebody else. Now you're emotionally involved and attached thinking, oh my God, why did they change all of a sudden? When they really didn't change, they just became themselves, you know? So I like to be me up front. I like to show the bad first. I like to just to cuss you out and beat you with a post stick when we first meet. And then after that, you can't help anybody, you know, but no, really. And um, something else I wanted to speak on that he mentioned. Um, when it comes to people, what draws people together isn't so much, you know, what a person has or don't have. It's how a person is, it's how a person is mentally. Because there are a lot of rich people, celebrities, you know, that are very successful and have everything in the world, like in the one drugs, committed suicide and all of that. It's where a person is mentally. Like say for example, there's a guy who had his own place, you know, has a car, but he's in security. There's another guy staying with his mom, you know, um, riding the bus. You're not sure what his plans are. But if you really take the time to get to know those people, that guy staying with his mom may have a 10-year plan. He may be a millionaire before the decade is over. While that guy doing security is just with doing security and getting high every weekend. So it's where a person is mentally. And if these people that we feel like are so great getting stuck or stand with these no good people, it's because it's something going on with them emotionally and mentally that's drawing them to those people. Like, I had a conversation with some girls a few years ago that liked being beat up by their boyfriends. They felt like if you don't hit them, you don't love them. They wipe the blood. This is exactly what one girl said. She'll get it, wipe the blood out her eye, and be like, oh, he will be loving me. Can I talk, please? And it's sometimes, you know, people may grow up being abused, and that's the only way they can relate love is to physical pain or disrespecting them. And why would you want to deal with a person like that anyway? Because eventually, if you're not giving them the kind of abuse they need, they're going to be giving it to you, then there's more emotional issues. Quality is better than quantity. Meaning, it's better to be by yourself, which is a zero quantity, than, which is a to have, you know, somebody around. You feel what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Then to have someone around that's bad quality. You see? Oh my God. I'm forgetting what I'm saying. You know, um, think of it. You go to a restaurant. You eat. Food is bomb. You want dessert. The good baker is not in yet. But there's a baker who made a cupcake with rotten eggs, bad flour, no sugar, they'll probably make you throw up. Now, one, you can make one dessert so bad that you'll settle for that cupcake and get sick. Or you can just be content and wait for the good baker to come. When that baker's going to come, who knows? But it's worth the wait. 
I'm not even going to tell you what he's doing. You know, I had to learn that the hard way. I moved to my own place when I was 19. So, you know, niggas, oh, you got your old place? Oh, oh, oh. It's like, nah. I'd rather have no friends than to have people feeling like, you know, you can turn this into the smoke out house to hang out. I got to call the police every time they come over. Me, you with a pool stick. It's not worth it. Sometimes, you know, you just got to let things go. And hope for something better because if you're sitting here wrecking your brain over why this secretly bullshit ass person don't want you I mean oh yeah. that sounds really stupid you know all you see when you meet a person really is the outer appearance it's the car they drive it's where they work you never know where a person's head is think about that movie Stepfather I'm just saying you know but um I did like the video it was funny it was funny, you know, I don't like those disrespectful niggas. Hey, bitch, that was, that was, that was funny. I think I'm done. Anything else I want to say? Hannah Montana. I'm pretty sure I don't want to talk about that. Alright. Okay, I remember the last thing I wanted to um, briefly speak on. First of all, Kevin, for you to tell anyone they're not beautiful. Every female is beautiful. Before she even had a face or a body, when she was just one cell, she was beautiful. Why? Because she has the gift to give life. Even those women who cannot have children are beautiful. And I don't feel like it's anything wrong with a person having confidence in themselves, even if you may not find them personally attractive, personally attractive, because that's you and your opinion. And about these pictures on MySpace and Facebook and shit, okay. When a female has a picture, you know, straight up, and it's just her face, she's called fat. When a female has a picture of her, you know, her whole body in the back, she's called ugly. She must be ugly. You must be fat. You must be... Just let a person be themselves. You won't really know what a person looks like until you meet them in person. Because these little devices, the source pictures, magnifies, minimizes, changes color, makes dark, makes light. It does all of this shit. So if you're really interested in a person, get to know them and want to meet them based on their personality. Then go see what they look like instead of sitting here and making these videos complaining about females' pictures and the females that don't want to talk to you. Because those females who may not have the best looking pictures are probably the good ones that you overlooked that may be really nice looking in person. People are crazy. Like, totally. Awesome. Oh, wow. Like, totally freaked me out. I mean, right on. Alright. Hey, you gators. Hey, bitch. No. <laughs>